is this thing on? Yeah. Well, look at us, me, people. Hey, 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 hey. How you doing? Hope you're doing fine. Hope you're doing well. I know it's everybody catching the flu. And, uh, but I ain't finna be one to catch the flu, but I ain't finna count my blessings. So, um, uh, I just want to come today and talk to you today. And, uh, you know, just talk about some things, and a little bit of, uh, I'll tell you, well, I'll tell you a little story about me, a little story about me, I, I was once married, and, uh, um, going through a, uh, divorce period, so, um, just going through a divorce period and uh, you know going through a period like this right here times get kind of tough and you know you, a lot of a lot of times well for me I lost who I was and didn't know who I was I had to to go back and lose myself I, I um, well our relationship wasn't the best I mean it wasn't the worst either you know so ended up uh, Telling myself I didn't want to do what the other man did, and you know, eventually ended up doing what the other man did. And, you know, it, it it really bothered me. And I I don't regret it because I learned from it. I just know now and know better. But uh, um, it took a little while for me to get over. Maybe about three years, exactly to start getting over it, but uh, now it's, you know, it's been three years now, and uh, I just feel like um, I'm starting to actually, starting to fade off or wear off or whatever you want to call it, I still have some of those little frustrations, it's like my family, like they don't know me, and I've got one of them family where, you know, you can't really just go to any one of them and talk to them because, um, you know, mainly each and every one of them is like your enemy. You know, you tell them one thing and they'll go back and tell somebody else. And this thing know the whole world I know. So I just stay to myself and I'm, I live in, in the house with my, my, uh, my grand people and I live with them. <clears throat> so it's to the part where, uh, you know, they don't... Once you once you marry and divorce, everybody basically forgets about you, and they don't know who you is. And it's just it's just like that, and, you know. But uh, you know they uh they they really just look over me and uh, talk about me and all this good stuff here and all that good stuff there. And, you know, just talk about it, they just talk about me and they give off that energy, you know, I, I had to go back here and find my heart and all this good stuff because I lost where I was and who I was and, you know, now to look back on it, to look back on it now, I have to say if anybody asks me who's my greatest motivation, my greatest motivation I would have to say would be myself, it would have to be myself because, um, it took a lot, and when things got out of out of my head, you have to also realize the uh, environment and the uh, everything that's around you. Because uh, going through a divorce period, I mean, your your mind is stuck on you, and you know your other maiden, you know, and thinking about it, you finna go through a divorce period with them. So. Uh, I mean, once the divorce is final and over, I mean, it's just like you can gain your life back. It's it's not like you you lost you lost anything or anything like that. You know, you just have to stay focused and keep every keep keep your mind going forward. You know, move on. You know, don't just sit there and and you know 
just be like, I don't know what, no, don't be like that, just, you know, motivate yourself and, you know, inspire yourself, because when you come from a family like one that I'm in, it's, it's hard for you to, you know, keep yourself, one day you could, everything could go your way, I mean, if you a person like me, see, I, I, I I keep myself going with things, and you know, as you read, or no, not as you read, but as you heard in my other videos, um, I keep a, a lot of stuff going as far as my business and good stuff like that, but you know, the household that I live in, they're like money driven, so, um, you know, anything, and money driven, and, um, job driven so you know they the education really ain't ain't that um it ain't really that essential here so i mean one of them got to think a, a high school diploma or something like that a high school degree i don't know if it's any college courses in there or to tell you the truth i really don't know if it's any high school um, degree in there or not or who knows i don't know but the other one i know for a fact doesn't have a high school degree in you know, with me looking so forth into my education, I'm aiming for my education at the highest level I can go to. But uh, I'm not finna just sit here and be like, well, um, I'm not gonna do nothing. I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna sit here and wait for this here to be final. And then I go from there. No, no, no. I already sent the paper to her. And, um, she's supposed to get it signed and she's going to get it filled out and whatever, whatever back. So, um, after all that is done and over with and all kinds of stuff, you know, it's, it'll get better. It will, it really will. You just have to keep faith and keep God first and put Jesus foremost. And, you know, if, if it ain't nothing else, you just have to dwell right there, dwell in that little bit of place. And if it, if you don't know any much of the words, you know, get into the word. And if you don't know much of the word, just remember Jesus wept. And just stay right there. You know, dwell right there. And that's the strongest thing that you could ever just dwell in. So, well, that's if you don't know the word. <clears throat> so, you know, dwell in that. And eventually things will work out. Things will get better. So, I mean, things are... You'll start noticing that that uh, the uh, the vibes and stuff start getting higher and higher and higher. But uh, you know, let that let that energy let that energy there get higher because I guarantee you, whenever it gets higher like that, something gonna bring it back down or something gonna stop it. So you know, just you know, that's just a little advice. But, um, you know, a little short, short story of mine, I mean, you know, just think about it right now, I got my heart hurting a little bit, just a little bit, not a much of a lot, but, uh, you know, it's just something like that when you're going through a period like this, and um, I just wanted to um, make a video on that, so, you know, you might could get to know a little bit about you know you if you're going through a divorcing period or if you ever even think about a divorcing period or something like that just know that you ain't alone there's other people out here that's going through a divorce or that's in the process of, of a divorce or either just already done got their divorce and moved on and living a, a better life than what they was living now that's just you know it's just like it is that's 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 just simply plain, that's all. Now, um, you going to have a, I don't know, this thing like, okay, like with one of my experiences, I just, you know, I, I got brought down so hard and so hard. I got brought down, brought down, and, you know, talk about it, all that good stuff. <laughs> Okay, kind of getting a little stuffed up up in there, but anyhow, um, you know, I had to, I had to push through a lot of that stuff because, um, I got to the point where I said, you know, I ain't finna let this bring me down, this here ain't finna keep me down. No, sir, Bob. I'm not finna let this here keep me down. I don't care 
what or how it just ain't finna keep me down. So I just kept pushing and pushing and pushing, pushing and pushing and pushing, and eventually I finished my first degree. Eventually, I finished my second degree, and then, you know, now I'm on my third one, and I'm still going. And at the same time, you know, all this gossip and the street committee and all that stuff, there's is talking this talk and jiving this jive. I mean, street committee is something else. Anyway, I don't listen to it myself, and when it does, I just try to block it out the best I can because I know I'm not one to gossip, and so you ain't heard nothing from me. Anyway, now, uh, that's about all I could think of right now, and I'm kind of feeling like going back into my anti-social mode, or I wouldn't quite as much say anti-social, I'd just say like, uh, I'm old, I just don't really want to talk about nothing, I don't want to hear nobody or nothing like that, I don't want to, I don't feel like talking, I don't feel like hearing nothing, I just want to be to myself, let me be, you can keep going on about yourself, and that's just it, that's all, so, um, from hearing that, it'll be me signing off.